Budget air fryer versus Ninja air fryer. £45 versus £150. You could buy three of these for the price of those. Right, okay, so let's have a quick look at them to start with. So basically what you get in the box, that's all you get, and that's all you get. Simple as that, no other shelves, nothing else, no other appliances or other bits. This is fairly simple to use. Basically, it's just got a very simple, I'll bring it, tip it in, just a very simple timer and a very simple temperature there. And you have got some cooking guides, for instance, chips up there, 200 degrees, wedges, blah, 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 chicken, burgers, all giving you an idea of how long you should put them on for. For instance, it tells me chicken is gonna be 180 degrees. So we just turn the dial for, let's say 15 minutes, and it's on. Simple as that. So very, very basic very simple to use and what you get on the inside of it is just a little tray like that and you can pull it out so it's fairly easy to wash right okay let's have a look at the ninja now the ninja also is also very easy to use basically you just turn it on you've got your air fry reheat roast and dehydrate so let's just put air fry on to start with and then if you just want to start it on that you just press start and there we go, off and running. If you do want to adjust the temperature, obviously it's all digital, we can adjust the temperature to what you actually like and your time, obviously, up and down as well. And what you actually get inside, let's stop that. You actually do get, obviously, a lot more inside. It's a lot bigger, that's a 3.8 litre, and that is a two litre. So if you were to buy two of these for 100 pounds, or 90, actually 90 pounds, 90 pounds, yeah, 45 pounds each, then you would be then getting four litres compared to 3.5 litres and you'll be getting two separate ovens. Right, okay, as well as that, I'm going to be doing a very simple cooking test to see if the budget one can actually cook as well as the Ninja. Right, okay, so what I'm going to be putting in, I'm going to be putting some burgers and some chips. Right, let's get those ready and I'll be back in a minute. Right, okay, so I've got a chips and some burger in that one. And I've got a few chips and burger in that one as well. Okay, so let's get these in and I'll get the air fryers going. Now the budgie one actually tells me chips 200 degrees at 20 to 30 minutes and a burger 180 degrees at 20 minutes. So sort of very similar times, chips are going to take slightly longer. So I'm actually just going to put it on for let's say 190 degrees. I'll make them both the same, 190 degrees. And I'm just going to put them in for 10 minutes to start with. I'm going to put them in for 12 minutes actually to start with. Because I'm going to need to flip them over afterwards. So let's do the same with Ninja. I'm just going to press air fry. And then I'm going to press start. So let's put the time with this exactly the same. Which would be 190 degrees at 12 minutes. And that should be about halfway through and see what they're like after that. Right, okay, I'll be back in 12 minutes. Right, both air fryers are done now. Now obviously this is not a comparison between the way they look or their functions or the size of them. It's basically a simple comparison to see if you can cook as well in a 45 pound air fryer as you can in a 150 pound air fryer. So if you're on a budget and that's all you can afford, you just want to see if you can actually cook a decent meal in it. Right, okay, so that's um, actually cooked fairly well, surprisingly. The burgers, the chips of anything, look like they're already done. And so does the burger, which is quite a surprise. So let's take all of these out. There we go. So it's only been 12 minutes so far in the budget air fryer. Let's move this in a bit so you can actually see it. There we go. Let's have a look what we're doing with the Ninja. And the Ninja's very similar. Um, so it's actually very strange how they tell you to cook for far longer than you actually need. Because they actually only put them in for 12 minutes at 190 degrees. And they both actually look cooked. Whereas over here, it actually says 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm going to be baffled about that. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a knife. I'm actually going to cut them both open. I'm going to taste the chips and see what they're like. Right, let's start with the budget air fryer. Okay, obviously it's sort of cooked on both sides. Slightly less on the bottom than it is on the top. And let's cut it open. And it just about looks cooked. Obviously, you can see it's still dripping. It's still fairly juicy. But, yeah, I tell you, it's just about cooked. Just about Let's turn over the one from the Ninja, and obviously you can see that's actually cooked better on both sides. So let's turn that over. That's probably cooked very similar, maybe just slightly more. I think maybe the budget air fryer might just need another minute at the most uh, for the burger. The chips actually look cooked, so yeah, I'd say that's probably about a minute behind. Let me just actually taste the chips, see how they taste. 
Yep, and the one from the budget actually tastes cooked. Let's taste one of the ones from the Ninja. Yep, and the ones from the Ninja also cooked. And again, I would say with the chips, the Ninja ones are actually done slightly more than the budget one. So, budget one, another minute. So, basically for £45, you're getting a slightly smaller air fryer um, that will cook very similar to the Ninja. Obviously, just slightly less, another minute more. So, if you're on a budget, it's worth considering one of those. Right, I hope this video is helpful. If it has, please subscribe and thanks for watching.